The Honourable Member for Boothby. Um, thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I think it was Paul Keating who used to talk about dogs returning to their vomit, and what we've had is what we've had is Keating Light, you know, a, a wannabe Very member nice. for Wakefield, you know, who sees himself as somehow the uh, inheritor of uh, that tradition. Um, it seems to have escaped uh, members opposite, but let me just restate it. It has been the Liberal Party's position for the last 20 years that we support Medicare, we support bulk billing and we support community rating for private health insurance. And I noticed that in the previous speaker's long discourse of the last 40 years, he completely ignored the 11 and a half years of the Howard government and its very strong record in health and very strong record. Well, you mentioned that, and in fact, the bulk billing incentives, we invented them. We invented them. The incentives for concession card holders, we invented them. The concessions for children under 16. Who introduced that? Was it, um, I don't know, was it Neil Blewett? No. Was it Brian Howe? No. It was the Prime Minister when he was Minister for Health. And also in, med in Medicare. The strong, strong elements there, again, which we are strong supporters of, access to the pharmaceutical benefit scheme, free access to public hospitals and universal access uh, to the Medicare rebate. I don't know how many speeches I've stated this in over the last uh, 20 years, but not only did we strongly support Medicare when we were last in government, we improved it. We expanded the access in the area of mental health greatly expanded the access in mental health. And what did the previous government do, the Rudd-Gillard-Rudd government? They started cutting back some of the rebates that we'd given on mental health. We expanded the access for allied health uh, professionals um, in the areas of team care arrangements and chronic disease management plans. And it was also the Prime Minister, when he was Minister for Health, who decided to expand the access of Medicare to dental. And he understood that what people needed was access to restorative treatment, and that is one thing we, we did. Now, the Minister for Health in question time, um, she said, and I think it needs to be restated, we value general practice, we value primary health care. This is the important part of our health system. We have 43,000 general practitioners, and it is very important um, that we continue uh, to see this as a, as a valued and rewarding path uh, for medical students uh, going into. Um, a number of other countries, similar countries to us, uh, New Zealand, uh, the UK and Canada, have looked at reorienting their system towards primary health care. And I pay tribute to the previous government. Um, if you don't mind, Member for Wakefield, I pay tribute to the previous government. Um, they initiated National Health and Hospital Reform Commission published an enormous amount of work, a primary care strategy. Um, the, the Reform Commission was chaired by Christine Bennett. All of this work, and then what happened was um, Kevin Rudd got it completely wrong and focused on hospitals and not on primary health care. It is very important that we do a very important that we reorient a system towards primary health care. When you look at the challenges um, that we face in the future. The challenges, when you see how we've performed over the last 25 years, um, we've, done, we've done very well on a whole lot of mortality rates, on cancer survival and so on. And we're actually comparing very well um, with the OECD countries. We're improving our rankings on all of those things. But you, when you look at the challenges that we face in the future, um, it's around the area of chronic disease management. Um, and uh, in the area of uh, diabetes and, uh, and, and other chronic diseases. And uh, the question that I would pose for members is um, it's not we've had a big uh, good debate here about Medicare, but we need to start thinking about what are we getting for our money. You know, we need to th be thinking about how can we improve the system. And I think there are a number of mechanisms that we can do this uh, through the new primary health networks to improve uh, the coordination of care. If you look at uh, New Zealand and the UK, they use this very much. Uh, there are, through the blended payment with the practice incentive payments, again, a number of mechanisms that we can see. We have a good primary health care system. There's no doubt about that. We have a good health system in Australia, a great health system in Australia. There's no doubt about that. But there are a number of improvements we can, uh, we can make 
um, in terms of facing those challenges of you know, chronic diseases, how do we keep people better, how do we keep people out of hospital? Order.